Welcome to Ash Wednesday. You know, this has been called the most difficult day of the church year, even more difficult than Good Friday. Because on Good Friday, we come to terms with the death of our Lord Jesus Christ, but on Ash Wednesday, we have to come face to face with our own mortality. Traditionally, the words that are said as the ashes are imposed on your head and the sign of a cross is, from dust you came to dust you shall return. That is rarely an easy thing to hear. But I think it is the appropriate way to enter into our Lenten journey because how, how can we fully celebrate the good news and the celebration of resurrection if we do not acknowledge the fact that one day we too are going to die? You know, my first job out of college was for uh, the American Cancer Society. I went to work for them just a few years after it had been um, realized, discovered that monthly self-breast exams uh, were a very effective tool in early prevention, early detection, and therefore early treatment of breast cancer. So this was still fairly new, and one of my jobs was to educate people on this and remind women of this. And over and over again, when I would ask women if they practiced this, when they said no, the number one reason was, I'm afraid I might find something. That may be how some of you are entering into Lent this year. Yeah, because Lent is a time to go deep and examine our lives and examine our relationship to God. And as we go deep, we're afraid we might find something. We might find some broken parts that are barely being held together with band-aids. We may find some empty places that we aren't sure how to fill and, and we may find that there are some parts missing altogether. Yeah, we may be afraid of what we might find. Marcus Borg says the Lenten journey is about participating in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And in that journey, we may need to let go of some things, some parts of our identity that have been conferred upon us by other people, by society, by family, by our own warped sense of expectations that we have placed upon ourselves things we need to let go of in order that our lives can be new and centered around Christ. And to have a life that is centered by, around Christ, we may need to let some parts of us die. Destructive behaviors, unhealthy relationships, anger that we've been holding onto, grief that we just can't seem to let go of, anything that is keeping us from a right relationship with God through Jesus Christ. Those things, may need to be let go of. Some of them may need to die along the way. One of the scriptures that we typically use on Ash Wednesday is from Psalm 51. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. And of course, a right spirit is one that is in relationship with God. Lent is a time to remove those obstacles that keep us from a right relationship with Jesus Christ. And knowing that even on this day, as we concede our own mortality and own the fact that as those ashes are conferred upon our forehead, that from dust we came and to dust we shall return, that that sign of ashes is being made in the shape of a cross. Now, I don't care who you are, where you came from, or who your mama is, none of us are getting out of this life alive but the light of the cross, the light of the resurrection awaits us all at the end of this journey. And that right there is something that should definitely renew a right spirit within us. So blessings on your Lenten journey, friends. And as you make this journey, do not be afraid of what you might find. And my hope for you is when you celebrate on Easter morning, the light of the risen Christ, that you too may feel a little bit lighter.